Sir Nick Faldo was the dominant figure in world golf during the late 1980s and early 90s, winning six major titles. Now a respected broadcaster, he's also contributed to the development of junior golf with the Faldo series. Sir Nick's been sharing some tips with us. Today, it's all about escaping from the sand. So let's combine a little bit of golf psychology and, uh, and bunker play because if you say to yourself, I can't get out of a bunker, never have, never will, get somebody else to do it for you. Mimic somebody else is what many of the greatest players do. They mimic others and I did that as a kid. I watched Gary play and obviously I played with Seve, Ernie Els, great bunker players. Like, so copy them, copy exactly what they did. So Gary used to put his, put his weight in like on the outside and the inside of his feet. So his knees were bent forward, open up the face and that club was now pointing straight at him, super open face. And he, his strike was all about striking a match. So you used to imagine backswing and strike the match, you see? So he had that speed at the bottom. So try that. What I want you to do is try these different styles and see which one works. So you're leaning into it, open the face, strike the match. You'll get some flight and some kind of you know, reaction on the green. So learn from that. Then a Seve, Seve was great. You know, if, he, if I went in the bunker and I looked at my life, oh, no chance of getting out of here. I said, well, Seve would find a way. And one of the things he would, was great at was adapting. So when he won at Leatherm, those bunkers are like this, little small bunkers. So he made a swing, big wide, Stance, hands super low, down in his knees, and then he would cup it on the way back because there was no, there was a bank behind you. There was, you know, the bunker bank. So, cup it hard and fast. Get the thing up and do the same, going back the other way. So this is a really good one for short bunker shots when you just want to pop it over a lip. So the secret is super low hands, cup the wrist straight up, and a bit of speed going through. You get that nice little popping sound. So you're trying to get there and just dig the heel into the sand, boom, there you go. That's the one I'm looking for. So it just comes up nice and soft. And then Ernie was a lovely bunker play where, like, like a pilot, minimum, you hear the guy say minimums, minimums. It was just so simple. There's a line to the bunker, to the, to the flag, a little bit of open face, simple, simple stance. Now I used to do copy that, but I used to add to help me I used to lift my right heel, which got my right shoulder high. It's so important. It's a game of opposites. If this right side is high, then you hit down on it. If this is low, guess what? You hit it fat and you're trying to hit up on it. So remember, you've got to be going down. So if you're having trouble with that, lift your right heel, get your right shoulder as high as possible. Just aim like a yard right and swing a yard left. And you get that. So how nice and simple is that? And Ernie, you would just literally use the power, not like Phil, you know, Phil would have a big long swing to lob it out. If, but Ernie, almost like all I need is this amount of power, nice simple stroke, back and through, pick your landing spot, pretty darn good. So the secret to this is copy the pros. They're the best. Visualize you're one of them. Try three or four different styles. Pick the one that works for you.